We were looking for a house, and this house, it's in a really nice neighborhood, family-oriented. I see mothers walking around all the time with their kids, and I was pregnant at the time. It's a small space, and we weren't sure whether we could stay for a long time because we don't want to have just one kid. <laughs> but it was the only thing that we could afford at that time. The first thing we tackled was we removed the wallpapers everywhere in the closets and the floors weren't finished. Then we said, oh, you know what? If we put in this much work, we may as well just do the whole thing. So we just gutted out the whole thing. My favorite room in this house is the kitchen and the dining room, just because it's so multifunctional. The kitchen was actually in the back where the barn door is right now. So it was way too small, so we have to move it into this room. And the kitchen is just something that I always wanted was a white kitchen. We needed a table that fit into this space and it was long enough for us to use and Rock really likes walnut. So then he built a table and this was the design that we liked because it's just simple and modern enough for the space. The bench is actually from the old mantle. The wood from the old mantle is gum wood. I don't think you can find gum wood anymore, but we just didn't want to throw away the mantle so Rock reconfigured it and made it into a bench. And it's nice because you come in, you look out and you see the window right away. And the fact that we salvaged the leaded glass window from our mudroom and framed it and then we put it up. So it's something that reminds us of the old house. So right off the kitchen in the back is a mudroom and a powder room. And I wanted to have a door that when you come in, you see it. And we didn't have the space to have a hinge door. So it has to be a sliding door. So I really love the barn door idea and we just couldn't find barn door hardware anywhere. So then Rock just decided to build it. We have a company called 1925 Workbench and because he built the barn door hardware, if I'm looking for something like that, people must be looking for something like that too. And that's how we started the business. We make custom furniture such as the console and the table here in the bench and also the custom doors and the barn door hardware. In the family room, we have Rock's favorite piece, which is the Douglas fir, because that was something that he really wanted was a solid table. So he built the coffee table just so that it looks like it's a solid piece of wood. I think solid wood has its own feel and it would never go out of fashion or out of style. And then I needed a working space and Rock built this walnut and Baltic birch plywood workspace for me. And we built this long piece of built-in book bench, we call it, because you can put books at the bottom and then people can set the top and the baby actually can play on top too. Upstairs, we have two bedrooms and Dan and Kai shares that one bedroom and we have a bed for Dan and a crib for Kai. We actually also have a barn door up there because then you don't have to swing the door open and that becomes a space where we can put shelf-ins and things for Kai. The other room is our bedroom. It's a really small room. You know, it fits the bed and a little side table, but we're happy with it because it's really bright, so it's nice. The favorite part is actually creating custom furniture and it's nice that once it's done, you have it in your house right away and you get to see the finished result and you know, you, you feel good because you, you did it, right? And it's, it fits your home and it was made for the home. If I could find a word to describe this house, it would be homey, but clean, comfortable. It is a dream house, but because of the size and the babies, I can tell that they're getting a little antsy, but it would be completely difficult for us to leave it. I think we're so attached to this house. <laughs>